Faith is the victory that overcomes fear in the world. Deuteronomy 20-4 For the Lord your God is He who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to give you the victory. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Him who strengthens me. 1 Corinthians 15.57 But thanks be to God, who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. John 16.33 I have said these things to you so that you may have peace in me. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Psalm 108-13 With God we shall do valiantly, it is he who will tread down our foes. James 1 12, 14 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when lured and enticed by his desire. 1 Corinthians 10.13 No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape so that you can endure it. Deuteronomy 20-1-4 when you go out to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army larger than your own, you shall not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. And when you draw near to the battle, the priests shall come forward and speak to the people and say to them, Hear, O Israel, today you are drawing near for battle against your enemies. Let not your heart faint. Do not fear or panic or be in dread of them. For the Lord your God is he who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies, to give you the victory. 2 Corinthians 12 to 9, 10. But he said, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For Christ's sake, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. When I am weak, then I am strong. Ephesians 6.10 Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Ephesians 6.13 Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all, to stand firm. John 14, 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring all that I have said to you to your remembrance. Romans 8, 37. No, through him who loved us, we are more than conquerors in all of these things. Proverbs 24, 16. For the righteous fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked stumble in times of calamity. Revelation 21 to 6 to 7. And he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give from the spring of the water of life without payment. The one who conquers will have this heritage. I will be his God and he will be my son. 1 John 5-4 For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. James 1-1-27 James, a servant of God and the Lord Jesus Christ, greetings to the twelve tribes in the dispersion. Count it all as joy, my brothers, when you face different kinds of trials because you know that testing your faith makes you more stable. And let faithfulness have its full effect so that you can be perfect and complete, missing nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, 
Let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. Revelation 12.10 And I heard a loud voice in heaven, saying, Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. Luke 10.19 Look, I've given you the power to walk on snakes, scorpions, and all the enemy's power. Nothing will hurt you. 2 Peter 3-9 The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. 2 Corinthians 2-14 But thanks be to God, who in Christ always leads us in triumphal procession, and through us spreads the fragrance of his knowledge everywhere. Proverbs 21-31 the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Isaiah 41.13 For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. I say to you, fear not, I am the one who helps you. 1 John 1-9 He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleans us from all unrighteousness if we confess them. 1 John 5-4-5 For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except for the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Matthew 16-18 And I tell you, you are Peter, and I will build my church on this rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 1 Peter 3.18 For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit. 1 John 4.4 You are of God, and you have triumphed over them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Romans 8.31 So, what shall we say in response to these events? If God is for us, who can be against us? 2 Timothy 2.15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Hebrews 11.1 Now faith is the conviction of things unseen, and the assurance of things hoped for. James 5.13 Is any one of you suffering? Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Let him sing praise. 1 Chronicles 11.14 But he took his stand amid the plot, defended it, and killed the Philistines. And the Lord saved them with a great victory. John 3.17 God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. 2 Corinthians 10-4 The weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away, behold, the new has come. Ephesians 6, 10 to 18. Finally, be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. We are fighting not against flesh and blood, but against rulers, authorities, cosmic powers over this present darkness and spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Romans 6.14 For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, 
but under grace. Psalm 8-2 Out of the mouths of babies and infants, you have established strength because of your foes, to still the enemy and the avenger. Genesis 18-14 Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the appointed time, I will return to you, about this time next year, and Sarah shall have a son. Mark 11:24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. 1 Corinthians 15:55. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans that will prosper you rather than harm you, plans that will give you a future and hope. 1 Corinthians 15, 57 to 58. But thanks be to God, who gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So, my dear brothers, be firm, don't move, and always do more work for the Lord knowing that your work is not in vain when you do it for the Lord. Romans 8-1 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Joshua 10-8 And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear them, for I have given them into your hands. Not a man of them shall stand before you. Romans 8-1-39 there is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do. By sending his own Son in the form of sinful flesh and for sin, he punished sin in the flesh so that the righteous requirement of the law could be met in us, who don't walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. Revelation 12:11. And they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they loved not their lives even unto death. 1 Corinthians 15:51. Behold, can I tell you a mystery? We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Romans 8.28 And we know that all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to His purpose. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hebrews 13 to 6. So we can confidently say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Colossians 2.15. He disarmed the rulers and authorities and humiliated them by triumphing over them. 1 Corinthians 15:52. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. The trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. John 14 to 6. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Acts 2 27. You will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor allow your Holy One to see corruption. 1 Peter 5 to 8. Be sober to minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Romans 8.38-39 For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Psalm 60:12. With God, we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. 
Romans 8.31-32 So, what shall we say in response to these events? If God is for us, who can be against us? How can He not graciously give us all things if He did not spare His own Son, but gave Him up for us all? Revelation 1-1-20 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave Him to show His servants the things that must soon take place, He made it known by sending His angel to His servant John, who bore witness to the Word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that He saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and keep what is written in it, for the time is near. From John to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. 2 Timothy 4-7 I have fought the good fight, finished the race, and kept my faith. 2 Timothy 1-7 God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power, love, and self-control. 1 Corinthians 15 55-57 O oh, death! Where is your victory? O oh, death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Psalm 3-8 Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be on your people. 1 John 3-8 Whoever practices sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The Son of God appeared to destroy the works of the devil. 1 Peter 2-9 But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people for his possession. You were called out of darkness into his marvelous light, so you can tell others how great he is. 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18. But we do not want you to be uninformed about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others who have no hope. Because we believe that Jesus died and rose again, God will bring those who have fallen asleep with him through Jesus. For this, we declare to you by a word from the Lord that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will always be with the Lord. Zechariah 4-6 Then he said to me, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. 2 Kings 5-1 Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master, and in high favor, because, through him, the Lord had given victory to Syria. He was a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. 1 John 5-1-21 Everyone who believes that Jesus is Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves whoever has been born of Him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. And His commandments are not burdensome. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except for the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? James 1.12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, 
which God has promised to those who love Him. Hebrews 4.12 God's Word is alive, active, and sharper than any two-edged sword. It can cut through soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and it can tell what someone's thoughts and plans are. Ephesians 2.10 We are His work, made in Christ Jesus to do good things God planned for us to do before we were born. Luke 16, 19 to 31. There was a rich man clothed in purple and fine linen who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, even the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades, being in torment, he lifted his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. Matthew 19.28 Jesus said to them, Truly, I say to you, in the new world, when the Son of Man will sit on his glorious throne, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. 1 Kings 2-3 And keep the charge of the Lord your God, walking in His ways and keeping His statutes, His commandments, His rules, and His testimonies, as it is written in the Law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. Revelation 11-15 Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. 1 Corinthians 15.22 Just as all die in Adam, all will be made alive in Christ. Romans 8-1-2 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. John 19.30 When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished, and he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. John 8.44 You are of your father, the devil, and your will is to do your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning and has nothing to do with the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks out of character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Isaiah 55-9 As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways and thoughts higher than yours. Philippians 4-1 Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, Stand firm in the Lord, my beloved. 2 Corinthians 4-8 We are afflicted in every way but not crushed, perplexed, but not driven to despair. Romans 6-4 We were buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. John 20-17 Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Matthew 24, 1-51 Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples pointed out the temple's buildings. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Indeed. I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and the close of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. Many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ and they will lead many astray. Matthew 6, 24 
No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. 1 Corinthians 15-1-58 Now I would remind you, brothers of the gospel I preach to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved if you hold fast to the word I preach to you, unless you believed in vain. For I gave you what I had learned as the most important thing, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures, and that he first appeared to Peter and then to the other twelve. Romans 5 to 8 But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Matthew 17 to 1 to 9 And after six days, Jesus took Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Revelation 20 to 1 to 15. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding the key to the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the pit, and shut it, and sealed it over him, so that he might not deceive the nations any longer until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also, I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus, and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image, and had not received its mark on their foreheads or hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years had ended. This is the first resurrection. Philippians 4 to 1 to 23. Therefore, my brothers, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm in the Lord, my beloved. I entreat Euodia, and I entreat Sinti to agree in the Lord. Yes, I also ask you also, faithful companion, to help these women who have labored side by side with me in the gospel, together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always, again, I will say, rejoice. Let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. 2 Corinthians 2, 1-17 I made up my mind not to make another painful visit to you. For if I cause you pain, who else can make me happy but the one I've hurt? And I wrote as I did so that when I came, I might not suffer pain from those who should have made me rejoice, for I felt sure that my joy would be the joy of you all. I wrote to you out of much affliction and anguish of heart, and with many tears, not to cause you pain, but to let you know my abundant love for you. If anyone has caused pain, it has been caused not only to me, but, in some measure, to all of you. Romans 8.37-39 No, through him who loved us, we are more than conquerors in all of these things. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for joining us. We hope this video has been a blessing to you. 
Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you might continue to be encouraged by the word of the Lord. Have a blessed day.